ready for this. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> it has been a while. <laughs> all right, what do we need? I think all we need for today is a table saw. All right. We have just a couple short days until Christmas, which means we have a couple days to actually get a little bit of work done because we have really, really been enjoying the month of December with the family. I mean, do we have to get back to work though? Yes. It's been really nice. It has been really nice, but yes, we have to get back to work. Come on. Come on. So we're back here in the master bathroom. Yeah, we are. And I guess we're working on the shower again. So we have been sharing a single shower for about two and a half years in the trailer, in the tiny home, and now here in the main house. We're good. So we really, really need to complete our second shower. One shower is plenty. You just said it yourself. Okay, no. So I will admit that it will be very, very nice having a second shower here in our home. We won't have to share with the kids and take turns anymore. It's been a long time since we had a second shower. It has. However, because we have Christmas coming up in a couple days and family coming into town, I'm not going to make you in particular <laughs> Any promises about how much progress it is I'm going to be able to make over the next couple of days. I'm just happy we're here, Jeremy. I'm going to do what I can. And we do need to stop a day short because we have something very important and very special planned. I went down into the crawl space and I cut the ABS pipe that was connected to the existing shower drain that we had set here in the floor. That's not going to work for our application since we were going with the Schluter shower system. We need to use a Schluter drain. So. I got the floor cleaned up. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna grab our shower pan, mix up some water, and get that set in place. Things got a little out of control with the egg beater. I ruined my boots. to do is take a series of measurements make sure that I got our drain centered up with the uh, hole in the floor for the drain we're shaving everything down and then on at least this side once I take this chunk off we're gonna have to do some curb build up so we'll show you how that happens but before that oh. it's cut off oh, okay. oh. Not how that's supposed to go not at all there we go With our shower pan cut to size, I went ahead and got everything dry fitted, made some marks on the actual subfloor where Melissa is going to be filling in the gaps with some mortar. Don't yeah. screw this up. <laughs> All right, okay. Don't spill. Don't spill. <laughs> Wait, how thick is this supposed to be? Like this thick? No, we need way more than that. Just goop it on. I'll clean it up to stay within those lines if you can. But isn't it going to squoosh out? It is going to squoosh out, but we need enough to make sure that we can embed that pan. So All just right. goop it on there. Okay, here we go. You know, Mama, it's almost like you've done this before. I'm getting tiny home vibes. For You're basically sure. a, a professional at this point. This is your second shower pan that you worked on. Uh, yes, it is. You remember I, the first one? Wasn't that fun? I never thought I'd ever do a single shower pan in my life, let alone two. Yet here you are. I know. Looks like you're making pancakes. I love pancakes. Except when I overdo it. Jeremy is working on getting the pan completely smoothed out. He's walking on and getting all the air bubbles out. The cool thing about the Schluter pan and the reason we decided to go with that instead of building our own is that it is already pre-sloped down to the drain so we can just put our towel right on top and everything will funnel exactly where it needs to go. Jeremy is going to work on cutting a series of strips to build our curb. So while he does that, I wanna show you guys a special project that we've been working on this week. For those of you that saw our surprising random strangers with grocery video, there was one family in particular that really resonated with you and that was Ashley and Jay. They have had a just really, really tough year. The foundation of their home is crumbling and their well went twice as deep as they had budgeted for so they weren't able to get a pump in so they don't have any running water for their five kids and then on top of that, all of their pipes burst. So the worst part of their year was that they recently lost their baby girl, Vivian. So on top of mourning her loss, they're dealing with all of these other things that are really stressful, especially around the holidays. So after she walked out, I was feeling like I really 
wish that I had done more. And I'm so thankful that you guys reached out and felt the same way because a few donations came in that wanted to pay for all of their Christmas gifts. So I was able to contact Ashley afterwards and say, hey, go on Amazon, create a wish list, and we're gonna take care of your Christmas. And so thanks to some really, really incredible subscribers, we were able to pay for everything that their kiddos had on their wish list. And so they know that we are going to be delivering these gifts to them in just two days. And they have no idea that we have secretly been collecting additional donations. So you guys have been incredibly giving to this family and you have just really wrapped them in your arms. And so we are going to be surprising them with a lump sum of cash, which we will be revealing very, very soon. So first we have to get this shower panel done and then we can go bless Ashley and Jay. Thank you guys so much for once again, being the most incredible, incredible subscribers on the planet. Now I know Schluter sells their own shower curb that you can purchase and actually just cut the length and set in place. But when I looked at that option, I really didn't like the fact that it was a pretty herky curb. I didn't want something that was gonna be really substantial, it was gonna stand out, be a tripping hazard, all that. So what we're doing is we're taking some of our foam board scraps. I've ripped them down into a three inch wide section and we're gonna stack those on top of each other with some adhesive that I purchased. And we're actually gonna build our own curb. It's cheaper, it'll look better. It's definitely the best option for us. Welcome back, Mama. Your, your butt is hanging out. My butt's hanging out? Well, I mean, this is plumbing related, so I feel like <laughs> I should be able to, you know. Air your butt out? Ventilate when need be. Oh, it's a good the Last one, last layer of curb. What do you think, you like it? Yeah. Not too crazy, right? Kind of thin, low profile. This whole thing just reminds me of like an arts and crafts project. Like there should be streamers and stuff. Just the material is not like what we have worked with in construction. Yeah, we're gonna cover it all up though. We have to put the same membrane up over everything so there's no exposed seams. And then once all that's done, tie out. Just looks like a little kid's science project. <laughs> Jeremy is working on the pipe seal flanges. Are they flanges? They're whatever you want them to be, Melissa. The little rubber things that go around the thing. So while he works on that, you may have noticed that our shower is very smooth. And that is because we decided not to go with any of the niches, niches, itches. niches. The, niche. Shower niche. The built-in box with the shelf where you set all your shampoos and all that. Two reasons that we decided to forgo those. One, I've had them before with the built-in shower from our first house over in Washington, and it seemed like water and soap and everything just sort of sat on that shelf. And then the other reason is I don't really want to stare at shampoo and body wash. So I think we're going to stick with keeping the products on the sides, but not built into a shelf. That was a really long-winded explanation as to why we're not doing built-in shelves. No nooks. Nooks, that's what they're called. Throughout our entire home build, prioritizing eating actual real food and not just grabbing a handful of chips here and there has been a struggle. So discovering Factor has been a total game changer for us. Factor makes meeting our nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to our door. In fact, Factor makes it easy for just about everyone to achieve their daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan plus veggie options, which include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. With Factor, there is no prep, no mess, and your meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in just two minutes. I absolutely love the variety too. Factor offers 34 meals per week and 36 plus add-on options like smoothies, juices, snacks, and more. Factor is also super flexible with meal plans ranging from four to 18 meals per week. And you can order more if you know you're gonna be extra busy or even skip a shipment or reschedule a shipment if you know you're gonna be gone. So to start the new year off right and reach your nutritional goals, no matter how hectic 2023 may be, just go to go.factor75.com slash goodsimpleliving60 and use code goodsimpleliving60 at checkout to get 60% off your first Factor box. That's go.factor75.com slash goodsimpleliving60 and you'll get 60% off your first order when you use code goodsimpleliving60. The time has come for us to get our drain set in place. You can see we have our hole in the floor here. That's gonna fit our drain. And what we were working with is an ABS drain. Basically, I'm just gonna plug this in and use the same thin set mortar to get it set in place. We have enough leeway with the uh, P-trap down under in our crawl space to make sure that we can get a section of pipe fitted to this after the fact. So we'll get this over, we'll get this set down, we'll put the uh, membrane portion over this and we should be mostly waterproofed here in our shower tank. 
Getting perched up. Showers have so many layers. Everything has so many layers, including me. Are you like, deep. You're like an onion. Very complex. So what's the shower? No. You want to take over? You can do this. You built our first shower pan. I could do it. You could do it. This is a sand and concrete mix I just got done mixing up here in this tub. Brought it inside to fill the two voids that we have at either end of the shower. Because our prefabricated shower pan is actually short of the total dimensions of the shower, we have to fill those voids with something and this is kind of the go-to. So we're gonna get this dumped. I'll get it smoothed out, make sure we maintain that proper slope so that all our water drains properly. And while that's curing, getting set up, Melissa and I are gonna head out and see if we can't find some tile use here on our shower project. All right, things are looking really good. I think we are done for the time being. Quick word of caution, however, if you ever plan on tackling a project similar to this on your own, be very cautious and conservative with how much water it is you put into your mortar mix. I try to be really, really careful, but this mix turned out way more watery than I wanted it to be. It just makes it really difficult to get things leveled off at the proper slope. So we're looking good. Let's head out and see if we can't find some tile. So it is about 3.30 here in December in North Idaho, which means it is getting dark already. So we're gonna try to hurry up so we can get home. See how tall I am? You refill so that stuff? Tall. Okay, so here we are once again, and once again, I am not a big fan of shopping for, I, I don't, I'm not Anything. Big, anything, <laughs> but I hate having to make these design decisions. I'm just, it just doesn't, I don't know, it's not my thing. Yeah, Jeremy's more of the veto guy, so he knows what he doesn't like, but he doesn't have any ideas about what he wants. So I think we're gonna go look at some barnwood tile for the walls, and then maybe some nice matte black honeycomb for the flooring. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll find something. As you wish, my love. Hey, so exactly what are we looking for here? So I'm a little more clear on what it is that I should be keeping my eyes peeled for. We're looking for a flat black honeycomb. I don't want it big like this because that's like, you know, and I don't want it little. I want it medium size. This looks gray to me, so we're checking on it. Clear as mud. <laughs> so what color grout would you use with that? I mean... Gray? I don't, we don't have any gray in our house, so I think... But yeah, it's got grays and you'd almost have to go gray with it. But then you have to remember, we have a very brown vanity. You choose, I'm just the installer. They've officially closed, but we have made a decision. So before we get out of their store, I'm gonna show you guys. We picked out this color barnwood, which I think will look nice and distressed with our vanity. And then the hexagonal, or what I call honeycomb, flat black two inch mosaic floor. So it will pull in all the black from our knobs and for the handle for the shower. And then we've got that nice distressed wood, which just kind of matches the lodgy look of our home. So I'm really excited about this, found exactly what I was looking for. Deodorant. Yeah, because I had to put the deodorant on because I stink. Oh, well now you just smell like deodorant. I've been working. I've been wearing the same clothes for three days because I don't feel like getting thin set all over everything. Oh, you don't stink. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> now that we got our tile ordered and we know exactly how this shower is going to end up looking, we are going to continue the journey towards waterproofing it. How you hope it ends up looking. 
Yes. Yeah. So before we get to uh, doing any of our tile work, we have to finish with getting everything waterproof. Like Melissa said, we're going to take our curdy membrane, get that worked into all of our inside and outside corners for both the shower pan itself as well as the curb. Aren't you glad we only have one shower to do? Yes. <laughs> Enthusiastic, yes. Again, finish work is not for me. It's not my thing. I don't know. Imagine if we did like three bathrooms and we tiled all the showers. And you'd do this three times. Do we know if we're doing a shower up in the uh, living space over the garage yet? I still think we should. Uh, I think we should tile it. I think two is plenty. <laughs> I think two is plenty, mama. <laughs> Make that last one. 81 inches. Por favor, mama. Por favor. I just realized what? we covered up the last of the sub with the last of like the raw construction Aww. materials that was showing. And we didn't even celebrate it. We just <laughs> did it and didn't even realize. I just thought about it right now. It's crazy. It wasn't romantic at all. Last unfinished circuit. Whole house. We should kind of naturally do it if you keep going. And we are done for oh, now. Thank goodness. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, thank goodness. <laughs> I want to go do something more. This wasn't fun. fun and riveting for you, like I'm sure it was for everybody watching. No. Exciting times. <laughs> Very exciting times. Let's go do something more fun. Sounds good. So, do you guys know what we're doing tomorrow? Yeah, we're going to Ashley and Jay's house. Do you guys remember meeting them at Safeway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to be loading up all of their gifts because we need to make sure that we get them there in time for Christmas. It's pretty special that all those different people got together to make their Christmas, huh? Yeah. So pretty amazing, seriously. Yeah, it really is. It's awesome. We are on our way to Ashley and Jay's and honestly feeling a little bit nervous. It's always nerve wracking to go to somebody's home when you have a surprise, no matter what the surprise is. You guys came through in the most incredible way. So we are very, very excited to bless them with this. Good to see you. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, you got it? <laughs> no, they're gonna freak out because they're like, Hey, where's all the presents? And so it's like, I have awesome like one little thing for each yeah. one. It's like, we've got, you know, the four boys, the one girl, she wanted a sister so bad. I wanted to give her a sister and it's like, we finally got her, but not in the way that like we all wanted it to end up. Well, Vivian's life really inspired people. I mean, there's just, I got so many messages from people from Australia and Japan and <laughs> Germany awesome. and so we did, we did get together and we made this little uh, ornament for her, for your tree. Like everyone wanted to buy your gifts and I'm like, <laughs> so we did it, we already did that. So then they just started like, well, can we like contribute here and there? So like $10 would come in or $5 would come in or $20. And so all together, like we have a check for you guys and it's for $7,000. Holy crap. Well, from, mm. from the Good Simple Living family and community. And we just hope that it can help you guys just with whatever you need. So. Well, yeah. We well, need to help us out a ton with the wall. I mean, yeah. that's yeah, that's what that's kind of the thing that's like. kind of broken. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone really wants to see you guys get water back and stuff. So I was just like, oh my gosh, there is somebody out there that does care, you know? And it was yeah. just like, okay, like reset. It was like enough that got me to like keep going, like keep pep talking myself, where I was already at a point where it's like I couldn't pep talk myself anymore. Yeah. yeah. So nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. I sure appreciate you. This year has been full of blessings, but none so unexpected nor as significant as discovering that deep desire to help others that exists in the hearts of so many people around the world. So as we go home to celebrate our first Christmas in our new home, we'll hold our children a little bit tighter because we know how blessed we are to be able to do so. And as we watch them unwrap their gifts, we feel incredibly inspired by each of you that help to ensure that 31 families aren't stressing Christmas morning this year. We are incredibly grateful 
for our family, for our home, and for all of you who selflessly demonstrated that the gift of kindness is still very much alive and well.